Welcome back, guys, to Seek the Beast on the Mine Crack Feed the Beast server. We are once again in the spawn village of spawniness. And we are here to do a little bit of work on our uh, our spawn village stuff. Namely, Kersplow, the nether hub and the nether portal. Let me jump up here, turn the graphical user interface back on. So, we're back in Spawn Village for an episode. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of work on the Nether Hub. Uh, but before we do that, let's do a few other things. Um, first, I've done a little bit of work on uh, the portal and the town square. I've added uh, the detailing, sort of did a lot of finicky work looking at um, <laughs> sort of how many of these, the, the different formations of these little, um, these are chiseled hollow no chiseled basalt hollow uh covers i think something it's like eight eight words or something is what these are but uh figuring out the different like uh, formations and patterns that i liked that look good and i think it looks pretty good let's zoom up here and get a like an overall shot turn the hover mode on for better panoramics and I've also added on some nitor instead of torches here. Uh, these are the guys um, I discovered how to how to uh, I researched how to make last time with Thumbcraft, which I'm having so much fun with, and it's <laughs> man, I, I can't wait to get back to my base so I can do more research because I'm like itching to get back to it. But I have to uh, I have to vary it up a little bit, otherwise it'll get a little boring. Um. Yeah, and I also started uh, cracking up, like I, like I said I would, the, uh, the what is this called? Cracked sand, uh, grass, and nether rack here. So that it looks like, it's eventually, hopefully, to look like the, uh, the portal is corrupting the land and there's dead grass everywhere. And I'm, basically, at this point, I'm waiting for the grass to finish growing so that uh, all these different... Um, squares look green and I can see kind of how much more work I need to do. I probably need to, I know grass will jump a block, I think. I think it'll jump a whole block, but I probably need to add some extra blocks of dirt here so that it can grow the whole way. Um, but uh, let's see, one other thing. Before we go work on the nether hub, I'm going to be raiding some villages. Uh, or <laughs> villages. Raiding the villages! Arr, rr, rr, rr. I'm going to be raiding the farms over here. So, as you are aware, uh, we just started doing research for Thomcraft, and different elements have different aspects um, if they're compatible or if they're vanilla blocks, if they're compatible with the mod. Um, so, I'm, I'm, I'm here to look for different blocks, some different farm elements, uh, plants, animals, that kind of thing that I can raid. We've got some automatic farms set up, and I'm not really raiding, quote unquote. These are here for everybody. Um, let's see, there's 64 stacks. Let's go ahead and grab this. Um, every once in a while. I, I plan to set up, I plan to set up a uh, uh, farm, uh, what's this called? Forestry, forestry craft stuff um, at my base. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, there's like certain things I need to do at my base before I can start adding farms yet. And we'll get into that next episode. Uh, I've got my, the mirror, the twin to this ender chest at my base. And you can see it's sucking items out. Um, so let's see, we got, what did we just get? Wood. Um, that's good. Now I want some... Let's see if we can find some other things. Maybe some seeds, maybe some wheat. People were saying that uh, seeds are good for... Um, I forget what the aspect is called. The one that adds... Uh, the one that silver has. Permutatio, maybe? I don't, I don't remember. Uh, let's see, here's some paper. I'm pretty good on paper, but I'll grab a, I'll grab a little bit more. Um... Let's see, all this stuff is running around through here. Ah, here we go. Let's grab a few stacks of saplings, a few stacks of cactus. What does cactus have? Water, leaf, and... Oh, I guess that weapon symbol, I guess because it does damage. That makes sense. 
grab some oh this will be good for when I set up a cow farm okay what do we have in this one plant ball plant ball huh? and let's go ahead and grab a stack of stack of dirty bread what's this sand sand I'm good on F full of what full of what what's that compost okay don't need compost um, Let's grab a little bit more cactus. And a little more. Oh, hey. Oh. And a little bit more of that. Um, apples I'm not worried about. Uh, okay, I think that'll be good. Let's see. Is anything else down here I can just make off with, like a bandit? That is not... Okay, so let's head back up. Let's dump this stuff in the ender chest. And then pick it up. And uh, I think we have one other stop. Where did I put that thing? It's around here. There it is. Lovely. Oh, I pr probably want... I have a decent amount of reeds already, but I probably want... Hmm. No, I have enough reeds. Okay, so that's good. That is good. Let's pick this guy up. And... Then... Whoa! Sorry! Uh... Hey-o! There. Okay. Um, one of the th stop, uh, we need to go find the creeper spawner that Goo just set up recently. He set it up, um, I think in his most recent episode. Uh, he's got a level 5 creeper, which is from, uh, creeper spawner, which is from the soul shards mod. And to get to it, uh, this is, this will be a lot more convenient once we set up the, uh, the nether hub in a minute here. Because um, it is kind of hard to find. Let's see if I can remember how to get there. You have to start down here. And then you have to follow this line of sewage, as Good calls it. And it's pretty dang far. I think it's... I really don't remember. I have it written down. Um, let's see. It needs. It's at uh, 57... Let's see. 57... We need to go that way, and then the Z coordinate is negative 261. So we need to go like way this way, okay. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see, went down here. This is a really windy, hard to follow path. Let's see, we go down here, uh, down the stairs, just keep going down. Um, let's see, and then I know we turn directions at some point, or is this it right here? I know, this is it. I remember these stairs down, and then we turn, right? Turn this way. I'm not, I'm <laughs> not sure. It's very easy to get lost in here. Um, I think I may have gone the wrong way there. Possibly, no, this is it right here. Okay, lovely. So, um, 251 stacks of gunpowder right there. Let's dump more stuff in here while it's sucking out items. There's a, uh, a level 5 creeper spawner right there. Uh, you can turn it off. You can deactivate it with a redstone signal. So you can see I'm, I'm within range of that. We can turn it off if we want to. Let's head down here for a second and listen to it. Somebody's uh, pack rat said it sounds like fireworks. I think that's pretty apt. It sounds like a like a cheesy Casio drum machine too. Like you set the basic the basic drum background. Okay. Anyway, um, wait. What's this right here? A repeater. I guess it's powering those. Um, okay. Let's head back up here and let's grab enough gunpowder. So what I want gunpowder for is for more thumb graft research and look at this it's got the explosiony stuff and the fiery stuff i can't remember what they're called without my uh thumb and i'm gonna keep it on um but i'm gonna take a bunch of it yeah so we can make a bunch of cool stuff with it and then i'll full up uh let's see can we get rid of it <laughs> maybe i took a little too much here have one back okay so um let's head back Oop. let's head back 
to spawn and um, start working on the nether hub. Okay, here we go. First thing we need to do is we need to link up this portal to a portal on the other side. There is a portal over there right now. And right now when we go through this portal, we're going to link up with the portal that's linked up with that one, basically. Um, and we need to make a new one that's closer to this one. So we always come to and from this guy. Uh, so let's see, we are right now, you can see on the mini-maps, but it's probably easier to look at this. Um, this guy right here, this portal, let's see. Um, we're moving through the X right now. So we're looking at 180 on the X, approximately. And then on the Z, we're looking at 188. And the Y isn't as big of a deal. Um, but basically 180, 188. All right, so if we go into the nether, we will discover a war zone. <laughs> this place is so chaotic and messed up. Um, so this portal is the one that's linked up with the uh, the temporary portal at Spawn Village. And it, um, as you can tell, it's just sort of a temporary hodgepodge setup. Uh, there are ghasts, you can tell from all the fire. Ghasts are just blowing everything up around here. That, there's the, uh, looks like there's some lava being... Being... Hey! Oh my gosh, these lava bats. I hate these lava bats. You know what I hate about them? They are so annoying. Uh, jetpack is okay. The annoying thing about the lava bats is they set you on fire, and then the the animation for the fire is so big, and it sort of looks the same as the bats. You can't see where they are to hit them, to kill them, to get them to go away. They are they're they're not as annoying as cliff racers, but they're they're close. But anyway, um, there's fires all over the place. Looks like look at this. This is this is a tragedy right here. Look at this beautiful lava pool. Destruction of our native environments. Okay, anyway, um, <laughs> so we need to go, um, let's see. So if we divide the, um, the coordinates for the portal by eight, we will find the location of where we need to be because the nether is one eighth the size of the overworld. So we need to go about to uh, 26, X27Z, which is gonna be over here, I think. Yes, okay. Right around here somewhere. Whoop, come on. 2627. Right about. Oh, look at this. <laughs> We've got. This is exactly where we need to be, and there's this vertical shaft here laid out for us, almost as if I've been here before, and I have. Um, so this is the spot that will link up with the portal. Uh, you can tell there's um, a kind of a, a little bit of stuff here. There's a filler. I don't know what's going on here, but uh, this is where the nether hub is going to be. We're going to put it up by the top of the nether again. Um, and... Let's see, what do we need to do first? First thing we need to do is clear out some land downwards because it's gonna be, um, we're gonna put the portals a little bit lower than this. So that's the first thing I need to do. All right, I've done a little bit of work here laying out some different floor plan ideas, the basic shapes that the nether hub is gonna be. Um, so this, pattern here inlaid in the floor, this zigzag diamond pattern. This is the pattern that the, uh, this is the shape of the nether hub on the vanilla server. Um, each person gets basically a, a little, um, a little slot this big, right? And then the next one would be here, right? And so there are one, two, three, Four times four, 16 slots, 16, come on Torch, 16 slots per level. Um, so a few things I think I'd like to change about the nether portal now that we have a chance to redesign it from scratch. 
for, no, for one thing, I'd like to move the portal to the center. Um, on the vanilla server, the portal is in one corner. It takes up one of the slots. And I think it deserves to be in the center of the whole design. Um, so that's one change I'm going to make. This is going to be where the four portals are. Not in terms of the height, because we're still adjusting that. But just in terms of the the horizontal position. Um, another thing is... Um, these, uh, these slots... People, I think it was, who was it who started making a, a bigger room? Was it MC Gamer who made his lapis exchange? Did he do that first? I think it might have been him. Um, and then uh, Avidya also has his little uh, Tiki Hut lounge thing. And I, I think people really got a kick out of having like a, a more personalized, bigger area here. So I'd like to make each one a little bigger. And to do that, I think we might need a little bit more space. So I'm going to... I laid out a few circles. Um, this diamond pattern is 32 blocks in diameter. So I made a, a couple of circles just to try things out. This one right here is 38 blocks in diameter. It's a little bit bigger. And then this one over here is 48 blocks in diameter. It's significantly bigger. Um, so let's see, over here, I started laying out how big the potential uh, little rooms each person would get would be. Um, so with this marble here. So this is one possibility. If we go with a 38 diameter circle, um, that's, let's see, what is that? Six blocks there, six blocks there, six blocks there, six blocks there. So you would have 12 slots per level as opposed to 16 with the original design, but they'd be bigger. Um, another thing I want to do, instead of having um, like a floor here and then a tunnel and then another circle somewhere else, I'm going to stack all these circles directly on top of each other uh, so that when you come out of the portal from here, you'll be able to see all three levels at once. You'll be able to see basically uh, everyone's nether portal, tunnel, rail line, whatever they decide to put there, um, you'll be able to see everything from this central... Whoa, a little sprinty. You'll be able to see everything from this central little platform that you uh, spawn on when you come through the portal. Uh, how's my ender chest going? Going good! I'm also sucking up some netherrack for uh, probably going to need a decent amount of that. Um, it's almost done. Um, so, and then the, the bigger... When we get the bigger circle, there's two different things we could do. We could either have more... More slots of the same size, so s approximately six blocks per slot. And instead of having 12 per circle, we could have 16. Um, or we could make the slots bigger, like over here. We could have them be eight or nine or ten blocks wide. Would they be huge? Um, and that would bring us back down to 12 slots per circle. I think this outer circle is too big. I don't think we need... This meant, um, I don't think the slots need to be that big. That's, that looks too big to my eyeballs. Um, and I don't, I don't think we're going to need this many slots. If 16 times 3 levels would be 48. I don't think we really need that many. Uh, if, we may need that many eventually, but my initial plan is to have three <laughs> levels stacked directly on top of each other. Three circles. Yeah, so if we have 12, like 1, 2, 3 times 4 would be 12, times 3 would be 36 total slots. Um, that's enough for one, for everyone on the server, and then some other miscellaneous stuff. Like on the vanilla server, we have one that goes to the dual blaze farm, uh, things like that. One that goes to the end. Um, so I think this circle here is the right size. Another issue is that I actually had a ghast spawn in this space. This space is already big enough for ghasts, so... <laughs> We're going to have to put some things in the air to sort of prevent them from spawning so that they, there's not a big enough volume for that to happen. Uh, but I think this circle here is the right idea. Um, let's see. So I guess the next thing to do is to dig down to hollow this out so we can get an idea of the vertical space and all that jazz. Oh, here's... Oh, God, Whoa, it blows up! What da da Gah! I hate those things. Die in a fire! Actually, they probably wouldn't die in a fire. I bet they're immune. They're probably immune to fire. Die in some 
Lukewarm water, bitch. Well, I think I'm gonna have to call it quits for this episode. I I meant to do a little bit more, but I actually, um, I was digging through this stuff with my diamond drill, and I accidentally, finally, after a series of close calls, I finally hit one of the pigmen, and they, there was like 30 of them in here, because most of these, um, a lot of this is solid. There's not a lot of land space in here for them to spawn. Anyway, they murdered me, like, <laughs> ASAP. And, um, there was about 10 of them, and they all picked up my... Like my nano arbor and my sword and stuff. And I came back, immediately got killed again, and got Goob to come back to help me. And I, for whatever reason, I blanked and didn't think to hit record for that, which would have been good video footage. Um, but uh, since the, the pigmen picked up my armor and my jetpack and my lap pack, so I got all that stuff back and all the, like, the iron armor I made impromptu to uh, fight them uh, but good came and helped me kill them got all that back but I lost my diamond drill and I can't really I need to go make another diamond drill to dig through this stuff super fast otherwise it's, it'll just take too long with the normal pick um, so we'll have to go back to my base but here is uh, sort of the basics of it oh and I should probably say that uh, I'm not making the the hub out of cobblestone. I'm just using it because it's a uh, it's a it's easy to have a, it's easy to come by a lot of it um, because everybody has tons of cobble. So I'm just using it to get out the shape, basically. And then we'll replace. We'll probably do uh, nether brick and basalt, kind uh, of similar to the portal. Um, but here you can see this is uh, where you might come out of the portal. You can see the different uh, the different little tunnels people will have, and then the next level will be here, and then an additional level below. But we'll continue working on this. Next time we'll probably head back to the base and do some more Thaumcraft stuff. I'm itching to do that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, oh, and somebody left a uh, had a filler here. I think they were using it to farm netherrack because the uh, the dimensions it was set out in and like the empty spaces in the nether. So it's right there for whoever um, was using it, and the engine is inside there. There was a, there was actually some other stuff connected to it, and some uh, I can't reach it, but it's it's in there. Um, anyway, see you guys later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye bye.